I have a book buying problem. Specifically the month of February, I went absolutely wild. I don't even know if I can hold all these books. Oh my gosh. I mean, this doesn't even show all of it. Yeah, um, so we're going to do a little book haul today. I try to categorize these books as best as possible between ones that I got like at Books A Million um, that I thrifted or second hand um, and ones that I got at like half price books which kind of fall in the in-between category in my opinion. I have so many books that I bought in the month of February. It was crazy. So this past week we went on a trip to South Carolina and I got tons and tons of books while we were there. And then I think like maybe the second week of February, me and my best friend Sierra, we did a two day book shopping spree, I guess you could say. We went to two different books of millions and we went to a couple local bookstores as well. Um, and we got, a, well, I would say we, but mostly me, got a lot of books and this is the result of it. So this is my first ever book haul because I never have gotten this many books in one go around. So these are just seriously from the month of February that I spent maybe two weeks out of the month that I got buying. So we need to go on a book buying ban. So everyone leave down in the comments that I need to go on a book buying ban because am I going to be able to get through all these books? We're going to start with the like secondhand books and I also got one ARC book that I will show you as well. The ARC book that I got this month was To Bleed a Kingdom by Ella Dolls and this book was super duper good. I did a whole reading vlog on this book so I've already read this this month um, so you definitely should check out my reading vlog on this but I highly recommend it. This comes out March 26. These are the ones that I got from Goodwill. So I was able to find the Midnight Library and I've just seen so many good things about this book. I really don't know what it is but I know a lot of book clubs read this. So let's see. Uh, this says between life and death there is a library. Up until now, Nora Seed's life has been full of misery and regret. She feels she has let everyone down, including herself. But things are about to change. When she finds herself in the Midnight Library, she has a chance to make things right. The books in the Midnight Library enable Nora to live as if she had done things differently. Ooh, okay. I'm just going to stop the synopsis there because I actually like to be like go in blind to my books but I figure for the sake of this video I could tell you at least a little bit about these books but I got this one I got it for like two dollars which is such a good deal this book is truly my favorite find that I found at Goodwill I got this one for two dollars as well and it is Daisy Jones in the Six now the only thing I know about this there's like a Netflix TV show or movie about it and it's by Taylor Dinkins Reid which is a pretty um well-known author she's also the one who did uh The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo so which that's a book that I've read but I'm super excited to read this one uh the synopsis on the back is Daisy is a Good, er, Daisy is a girl coming of age in LA in the late 60s, sneaking to clubs on the Sunset Strip, sleeping with rock stars, and dreaming of singing all at the Whiskey and Go-Go. Okay, so this kind of gives me like vibes of the, uh, or the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so I'm not going to read too much more, but I love it. And it's crazy because this one is kind of like a beat up book, but honestly, I was like, for $2.00. And I really want to read this. This has been high on my like priority like TBR. I'm super excited that I got it. Next book is Our Italian Summer. I believe I watched like a YouTuber like last year read this book and I just know it was something really cool, very tropical, reminds me of kind of like 
Greece or um, like Italy or something like that. So again, I'm not gonna read the I'm not gonna read the synopsis of this one just because I want to be surprised by it. Um, but I also got this at Goodwill for two dollars as well, which I think is a really good find. These ones I would kind of consider more like secondhand um, books because I got these at like local bookstores, and these bookstores normally do stuff like secondhand. First one I got is The Love Hypothesis. This is one of the only Allie Hazel books that I have, or Allie Hazelwood books that I have not read, which is crazy because I feel like everyone reads this first. And this one, it's like, um, it's a different copy. It's like almost kind of like how an arc feels. Um, but this is definitely one of like the earlier editions I wouldn't say it's the first but it's definitely one of the earlier ones um but it is a little beat up a little bit but honestly I feel like I have all how Allie Hazelwood books so I'm so excited to get this one this one I was really surprised that I got at a really good discount because it's actually a new book that came out this month I'm pretty sure but it's Tessa Bailey's Fangirl Down and the reason why I got this at such a good price was because when it came into the bookstore, there was like a little like um, bent on the corner of it, which I don't mind if this is a new book and I'm going to get it for a really good deal. I got it like 40% off. I was like, okay, I'll gladly take this book. Um, especially since I have a bunch of Tessa Bailey books, but I've still not read hers. But I think this one, I read the synopsis of it, and I really think this is a one that I'm going to love. Wells Whittaker was once was once golf's hottest rising star, but lately as he has to show for is his promising career is a killer hangover, a collection of broken clubs, and one remaining supporter. No matter how bad he plays, the beautiful sunny redhead is always on the sidelines. He curses, she cheers. He scowls, she smiles. But when Wells quits in a blaze of glory and his Fan girl finally goes home. He knows he made the greatest mistake of his life. Josephine Dolly believed in the gorgeous grumpy golfer, even when he didn't believe in himself. Yet after he throws in the towel, she begins to wonder if her faith was misplaced. Then a determined well shows up at her door with a wild proposal. Be his new caddy. Help him turn his game around and split the prize money. That's all I'm going to read of it because it's all that I read at the bookstore. But I was, I was like, okay, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. So I'm excited to read this. Bad Girl or Reputation. I believe this is the second book of the Good Girls Complex, but I think it can be um, like an interconnected standalone. But it's by Ella Kennedy. And I know she's a really big, like, popular author that um, people on Book Talk are obsessed with. I read The Deal, which is the first of the series, the off campus series. And I enjoyed the book, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. So I wanted to give her another try and read this book. Another Tessa Bailey book. This one's the last one from, like, my second hand, like, local bookstore but this one is too beautiful to break I don't know anything about it but honestly it just looked really cool with the cover kind of like she's leaving or something and going and traveling so I love that vibe I love the traveling these are the books that I got at half price books and I was really intrigued because this was the first time I've ever gone into um, any of the half price bookstores. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was used. I didn't know if it was new. And I was just confused with the concept of half price books. But even like the new books, they're still half price. So I really liked it. And I will probably be going back again, especially with all the good finds that I found. Powerless. This is going viral. I wanted to grab this so bad, but I didn't want the hardcover. I just saw everyone with the paperback and I wanted the paperback, but I literally cannot find it. And on Amazon, it's like, I think more than the hardback, which normally it's like flip flopped. But I was able to find this one at Half Price Books right before I was going to check out. It was in a section that was like not where it was supposed to be. It was the only one. And I was like, okay, I just got lucky and I got a paper 
version of Powerless and I got this for like eight dollars eight or nine dollars crazy I know I'm so excited this I've been wanting to read this forever and I really need to read this this is a high priority for me and I plan to do a whole separate vlog of me reading this book but I I've just been getting sworn with other books so hopefully this is gonna be a book I'm gonna read in March okay I got the not the whole selection series but the first three books of the selection series so have the selection the elite and the one and the only thing I know about this is that this this series was really huge on book talk like when book talk first became a really big thing and it's kind of like the bachelor in a way the bachelor vibes so that's all I know about it and that's all I want to know because I love the bachelor especially growing up so I'm super excited to read these and I would assume each book is kind of like a different season like how they would the bachelor but i'm excited and the last one it's kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone i feel like i only read a fantasy and romance and i never read like the true fiction books um but this one is the last thing he told me and i don't know if it's considered like a thriller or a mystery or like kind of in that genre but i know it's like just a typical fiction book um one of my friends have read this book and I kind of really want to go into this one not knowing anything about it um I just know that I think it has to be a mystery because I think there's like a disappearance and again hence like the last thing he told me so I don't know the last stack of books are books that I got at um Books A Million or Barnes and Noble and most of these are from Books A Million because this month I also decided to get a Books A Million membership which is crazy because I feel like I don't really get books as much but I guess now that I'm in this reading era I have been getting a lot of books and it kind of just makes sense but they were doing this really cool promo that it's $25 for the membership for the whole year and you get 10% off, you get a bunch of these coupons that are reusable, yada yada yada. But they were also writing when you sign up that you get a $10 rewards card. So in my head, girl math, that was $15 for the whole year and then I get to spend $10 in store to get myself a new book plus a bunch of discounts and stuff like that. So I was like, okay. I think this is going to be worth it and I've pretty much already used the membership to its full capacity this month um just to let you know so actually I believe this was the one that I got at half price books and I just forgot to mention this but um then she was gone by Lisa Jewell I actually got this book right after I was reading uh none of this is true by her i read it on my kindle and i really really liked it i liked the whole mystery kind of thriller aspect so i definitely wanted to read another one of her books okay now these are the ones that i got um from books of alien bards and noble does she need an introduction i don't think so first book of the magnolia universe this is magnolia parks Think of this as a British Gossip Girl. We love Gossip Girl. So I had to pick this up, especially since this is the rage. Like, this is what's going in. I'm a few pages into it, and I believe I'm going to do a separate reading vlog on this. But I think I have a couple books that are coming into the mail, and I need to put a pause on this, unfortunately. So we'll see about it but I'm super excited about it I really love um Magnolia and BJ so far this is definitely something of like a toxic relationship where you kind of root for them to be together but also you kind of root for them not to be together and you're just like torn um and I've gotten that between the first 50 pages so highly recommend we have King of 
Greed by Anna Hong. This book I actually already finished. I read it in one sitting um, in one day and I got this when I was on my trip and I just was so excited to read it because I feel like I really like Anna Hong's writing style and this is the third book of the King of Sin series and I love the first one. I didn't really like the second one. And then this third one I really, really loved. I gave it five stars and I was obsessed with it. Um, so now this is going to just actually go into my little pile of books I've already read, which is great um, because I just got it this month. Um, and if you don't know about this book, it is a marriage crisis. So um, Dominic and... Alexandria they're in this really huge relationship or like marriage I should say it's um, their 10 year anniversary when it starts out and he actually misses their 10 year anniversary they were planning to go on a trip and stuff like that so she requests a divorce and this book is basically about how he tries to prove his love back to her and it's just really sweet and great and I'm obsessed with it. We got Binding 13, which this is the first book of the Boys of Tommen series, Tommen. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I heard this book was sad. Um, I, again, I don't know anything about this book and I want to keep it that way, so I'm not going to read the synopsis. Um, but it's a pretty big book. I think the third book, Saving Six, came out this month as well. So another series I'm going to start and hopefully get to that new release. I'm actually like a hit or miss with Lucy Score. I cannot tell if I really like her or not. So I wanted to get another book from her. This one is called Maggie Moves On. This is one of her like earlier books and I just really heard good things. I don't know. I think the concept of moving is really cool in books. And I assume that's what this is about with the packing and stuff. But other than that, I don't really know. And I love how Lucy Score's books are pretty, like, thick. Like, they're on the thicker side. And I can spend more time reading this. And it's not one of the books that I can just, like, fly by. So that's why I can't tell if I really like her or not. Because I don't fly by her books. But I don't hate her books either. So I'm excited to read this one. Do I Know You by Emma Wilberly austin sigma broca i don't know how to pronounce um i'm pretty sure these are two authors if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure but she is the one who writes the roughest draft and she just came out with the one called the breakup tour which i'm actually listening to currently on spotify i actually have it on my kindle but i just could not bring myself to read it so i'm listening to it but I really wanted to like pick up one of her first books just to see how it is and honestly I feel like I'm gonna like this for the summertime. It's like looks like a good beachy book to read. It only happens in the movies. I really wanted to read this right after I read Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter because I heard it was kind of like a similar aspect. And I've never seen this book in stores before. Like, I've always just seen it, like, on Amazon or online. So the fact that I saw it in stores, I was with my friend Sierra, and she happened to see this first. She picked it up, and she was like, ooh, this looks like a good book. And I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to read that book for, like, a year now, but I've just never seen it in person. And she was like, well, there's only two left we should get them and read them together. So we did. She finished this book so quickly. I had gotten about 50, 100 pages in and I had to stop to read another book for a video. And she finished it so quick and she was like, please let me know when you finish because I need to talk to you about the ending. So I love that this book pulled out so many emotions for me. And I wouldn't say they were positive emotions, which is crazy because like to give me a really negative emotion is crazy. So, but the ending was like, you wouldn't expect it. And I think that's why I liked it enough to like recommend this book. But I was like, it's one of those like face plant books. You're just like, okay, 
what why 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 um but i really recommend it and i think you'll just find this a lot interesting and different from typical romance books highly suspicious and unfairly cute i originally got this book because i wanted to read it before valentine's day it looks so cute i love the cover i love all the pink um i know the two main characters go on this hike and i think it's kind of more like a forced proximity kind of situation and it's such a short book i think it's less than 300 pages if i'm not mistaken so like could fly by this book i just never had the chance to do that before valentine's day um but we still have the book and maybe one day when i'm ready for a cute little short romance book i'll have this book to read next two books are actually part of a series so it's the woven this woven kingdom and these infinity threads this is the first one and this is the second one and can we take a moment just to say these covers are super duper cute like i am obsessed with them um but this is the same author who wrote the shatter me series and i read the first book of the shatter me series and then the first novella and i really really liked it and i've heard nothing but good things about this series and the third book actually just came out recently as well um so i am just like getting the series of books that just came out this month and like the lot the latest book so i can read them so i can read the new ones but again i don't know anything about this um i know it's a young adult and i guess it's considered fantasy a young adult fantasy series i'm not sure but i just i really just like the covers if we're gonna be honest in the last book a new release that came out which was highly anticipated for me this one is bride by ali hazelwood this book is a paranormal romance i know when before it came out everyone was talking about it was like a fantasy one and i can see it being more fantasy than a paranormal romance i'm about a hundred pages in and I just think it's more fantasy than romance so I don't know we'll see again I'm only a fourth way through this book but I also end up getting a signed edition which I'm super excited about and I actually had bought this book at Target and then when I went to Barnes and Noble I did the whole membership thing and decided to use um my like ten dollar reward to get this book because when I went to the next um books a million they had a signed edition and I said okay I'm gonna get the signed edition hardback versus just the target edition um so that's great and I love it so technically I got two of these books I just had returned one because I don't need two copies I just need the pretty signed version <sighs> that is all of the books that I got this month and in my opinion I read like three or four of the books this month as well so like not too bad either um but definitely I need to like go on a buy a book buying ban because now my bookshelves are getting really really full but there's just so many books that I want to get and especially that I got series of these books um I'm gonna want to get the next books in the series so we'll see how this goes but thank you guys so much for watching today's little book haul and I will see you guys in my next video bye